this topic will talk about the challenges in type 2 diabetes as all of you are aware that type 2 diabetes progress a beta cell function start to decline uh, this will reflect a de in deterioration of a1c uh, fasting blood sugar postprandial glucose thereby contributing to complication older therapies are associated with gain and or hypoglycemia and finally as the diabetes progress uh, the risk of comorbidities increase like hypertension renal insufficiency coronary ischemia and heart failure so that's why in 2018 ADA and European Association for study of diabetes proposed the decision cycle for, for patients centered for management of type 2 diabetes. So you need to assess key patients characteristics age, weight, cardiovascular and renal history and motivation, socioeconomic of the patient. And then consider specific factors that impact treatment choice which uh, what's the benefit of lowering A1C without hypoglycemia and what's the effective weight uh, in new agents and what are the side effects and what's the complexity of use and what are the costs and finally use the shared decision making to create a personalized management plan and then agree on management plan go to begin uh, management plan then implement ongoing monitoring and support and then review and agree a management plan and the reassess and this slide will talk about unmet needs in type 2 diabetes then nowadays we see that even with the newer agents on board we see 30 to 50 percent of people with diabetes are not reaching the target of their a1c and regarding weight 80 percent of patients with type 2 diabetes are overweight or obese and 5 to 10 percent weight loss contributes to cardiovascular risk reduction so higher will have also 50 percent reach blood pressure targets only 50 percent of the patient reach the blood pressure targets and 60 percent of patients reach their lipid um, target uh, chronic vascular disease accounts for 80 percent of total mortality and finally we should really try to avoid complex sensory regimens because it affects therapy adherence and there is a